All right, and we are live. All right, hey guys. Welcome hey. to Discord Whispers. This is our sixth up to seventh episode. Right? Wow. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Um, this is our seventh episode, um, and going around starting with um, Peter, we have the characters uh, of uh, Addison Quinn, uh, Sword Bard, and I think all of us leveled up last time, so I yep. think we skip into Rogue. Yep. Such roguish figures. All right, and then we have uh, Johnny. Nomenclature! No. <laughs> I thought it was Bimzelwid. Excuse me? That's such a lack of decorum. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing is that his name is supposed to be a secret from everybody. Yeah. All right, hold so on. Let me change you your nickname. A voice shot. <laughs> God damn it, Ralph. It's ruined everything. You're the worst. <laughs> All right. So then we have um, then we have uh, Ralph. Hi. <laughs> Your character is Dr. Dare Graham. <laughs> uh, Christoph. Cathexis Yoge Critical. I love it. A level one monk, level one rogue, and level two warlock. Okay. And last but not least, Benny. I, I'm Ozone, and like I can cast spells. Sometimes things go wrong. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we have our party. Just one caveat before you guys get your extra level. Remember, you have to have a long rest before you can actually gain the benefits of said level. So, well, you have gained a level. You haven't gained the benefits of your new classes or abilities yet. All right, so... Uh, when last we left our when last we left our adventurers, they had just finished. They had just defeated a ghostly woman in white, paired with a bunch of abnormally aggressive pixies. Um, what ended up happening was Addison, in a very fanciful flourish of her blades, of their blades. Uh, eviscerated not only a pixie in one shot, but pretty much two shotted almost by themselves a the, the woman in white, which could have otherwise caused quite a problem for you guys. And right now you are in the middle of a large, dark wooded clearing by a calm brook with a bridge going over it. Uh, all around you, you see trees, and in the way off in the distance, you see what looks like it could be what looks like it could be lights at the at the pinnacle of a fire of sorts. So, what do you guys do? You said that we see a a fire. No light, at light on top of a spire. Oh, 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 and this is from the clearing. After. Yeah, on the opposite end of the clearing from where you entered, you see a, um, all the way on the other end of the clearing, and it's a very large clearing, you see a spire uh, that seems like, seems like it's habited, it seems like people live there, because you can see light coming from it. Dude. There seems to be some sort of observatory on top. Um, do... Do we, are we familiar with like where we are ish and where we actually have to go? Or have we just kind of been teleported somewhere and we're just like, uh, what? Well, you were, you were told that you were supposed, you were told by uh, Mockingbird that you were supposed to go to Moonvale Observatory. Um, and that the sending stone that you were used to teleport would take you there. So this is where that sending stone took you 
uh, the first thing that you see as far as civilization goes would be that spire. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. well, I suppose, I guess we carry on with this. Is everyone all right? Yeah, how are you guys doing? I oh, am you guys pretty like, beat up. So do you want to guy? I mean, you totally can take a moment to just like kind of heal and recoup. I think we should. Yeah, if we take a short rest, the benefit is you've got two bards that can song the rest, you guys. Have you? Are you guys all below half your health? <clears throat> no, I think I only like me. I only took like five points of damage. Why would I take damage? <laughs> I don't even know why I have hit points. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty beat up, you guys. Because I'm at like 15 of like 36. That's why. Someone had someone had to take damage. It wasn't just me. Well, cleric, why don't you do something about that? That's what I want to know, so I can channel some divinity. <laughs> but it only works if you're at half your hit points or less. Yeah, oh, I think I did not know that. Is um, because <coughs> you can use it on yourself too, right? Did yeah. You yeah. So you're just gonna have to use your channel divinity on you and uh, ozone. Yeah, I would assume ozone's pretty doing pretty bad as well. Ozone, yeah. ozone was like fucking wrecked, right? Yeah, I was I was pretty beat up. I think I don't even know who did it. Like it could have been you guys, but like well, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> well, that is what happened. Cause didn't. John attacked you? Yeah, like, but I only did like two points of damage to him. Yeah, well, it was just like, because you kept coming in and out of the, like, being charmed and stuff. You were just like, <laughs> we gotta help her. Yeah, <laughs> what's going on? Oh, we gotta help her. You guys keep working. This, this is true. Yeah. So, here, here's what I can do I can only get you up to half of your HP. So. Oh. If anyone is below it, then sure. I say don't even worry about it. We'll just well, song the rest. Well, he can use it on himself That's true. and uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I mean, what's the point in having your abilities if you don't use them? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 All right, yeah, so do it. Uh, hold on. I Do I only get this once per short or long? Uh, yeah. No, short or long. Perfect. What? Short or long for a cleric. So I can do up to 15 hit points. Yeah, well, I do it to it. Which means I can heal three for myself. And how much do you need? You said you can only go half? Yeah, up to half. So, uh... No more than half. Yeah, so you can get give me two, I guess. <laughs> I have 15 points to spread around. I'm taking three. So if you aren't, just go. Get get yourself to halves, and let me know how much you used. Is this? Are we in a short rest, or is this just his channel? That's my channel. Okay. Which if I will get back once we do a short rest. Yeah. If you guys want to take a short rest, you totally can. So if you want to use that and then short rest, that's fine. Yeah, guys, I think we should take like a quick five. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> um, Alright, so I think we should take a rest. I guess. <laughs> um, um, uh, roll some hit dice. Um, while that's going on, John and I are going to use a uh, song of rest. Yep. Mm -hmm. I uh, sit down and just uh, start making a beat. And I have Raven intermittently just well Simone intermittently just chirp <laughs> yeah and while he's doing that I whip out my viol and start playing it what does song of rest do for us um every if you're spending a hit die to heal you gain an additional d6 so if you're spending like a d6 because um or a d10 whichever because i know uh ozone is like a fighter and uh a sword whichever hit that he's spending he can also 
roll two additional d6 for HP because of the song of rest. Two additional? Big one for each of them. Damn, yeah. son. You add your con modifier to uh, regular short rest, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's plus two to my... So wait, the bonus, I'm, I'm only adding the die, not the bonus on top of that, right? So just, if I'm plus two, 1d6 plus two, it's just 2d6 plus two, right? Yes. That's like the worst freaking rolls. Yeah. Wait, you're adding the plus also? No, I only have plus two normally, so it's d6 plus two. Um, oh, you used a second win before, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, that was second. Which every game. Alright, so y'all are all of you good? Yeah, I think we can continue on. Well, okay, so go ahead. So you're going to continue. Um, so ahead of you, there is a bridge. Directly ahead of you, there's a bridge. Um, and across the bridge, there's no really, there's no real road. It's just kind of like a somewhat dilapidated bridge that kind of gets you over the brook and then it's and then you have the clearing ahead okay so this was just a short rest right we're not getting out of yeah mm-hmm. let's take a little breather and relax let's hear warlock you get yourself spoke okay so as you uh, <laughs> as you approach the bridge i need uh what are your passive perceptions <clears throat> How do we? It's really Benny. Really? Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> it's ten. <laughs> your proficiency modifier. Or your proficiency bonus, and then if you're proficient in it. No, it's ten I, plus oh, your no. wisdom, and I'm if you're wisdom. proficient, then you add proficiency. Yeah, that's what I meant. So ten plus your wisdom, and if you're proficient in your wisdom modifier. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so ultimately, if you're proficient in perception, it's 10 plus whatever the points are. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Wait, you have expertise in that? He's a rogue? Oh, he does, he shouldn't yet, because... Oh, yeah, he's a rogue. Yeah, because I do as well. Damn, Sean. 17 here as well. Nice. Very nice. Those are your past perception scores. Yeah. Nice. Very good. So, uh, the, the three of you, um, the three of you notice as you approach the bridge, you hear some, you hear this kind of muddled muttering coming from, so, coming from under the bridge. This oh, belligerent, yeah. what happened? And it's not like the, the babbling brook? No, it's not the brook. Um, ozone, uh, ozone might think it's the brook, mm -hmm. but the rest of you know that it's a definitely, definitely different sound than that. What's more, the three of you can pick out three distinct voices. What are the voices saying? What languages do you guys know? Fuck off. Common, gnomish. Uh, I have common gnome and elven. Uh, wait, wait, and Kristoff, you said fuck all? How, how, how so? <clears throat> um, let me actually look for real. Uh, what, uh, it was the far speak, the common, and then L, uh, whatever the fucking Aboleths speak. I, I, oh. I need to look it up. Qualish? Maybe. Alright. Oh, deep speech. Deep speech, there we go. That's the one. 
Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, none of you understand what's being said. One you, question. Yeah. Did Dr. Derigram hear anything? Because he got a 15. And actually... He, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. He, he would have heard the voices muttering, but he may not have been able to pick out the three distinct okay. voices. <laughs> okay. I actually have this syndrome where words are actually like look like colors and whatnot so synesthesia yeah i have synesthesia so are they like writing with their words because i can read what they're saying they're not writing with their words that's a nice try though no. so I, I i applaud that that was very good but you know they're not writing expression <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> um, no. So you hear you hear this belligerent muttering, and um, are you are you still approaching the bridge, or do you stop? Once I hear it, yeah. Um, once I it, 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 yeah. Once we hear it, we'll stop. And I I grab at um. It's ozone. You have like flowy parts of your costume, right? Like your clothing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I grab at like your sleeve, and like when you turn around to look at me or whatever, I just like put my finger to my lips to uh, hug you. What's up? Uh, how many of you know Alvin? Me. Yeah, me and I think the doctor. So Deergram and Deergram and Addison, you can pick out words here and there. Uh, one word that you. One word you hear that sounds vaguely familiar sounds uh, something like pixie. Uh, another word that you hear sounds vaguely like blood, and a third you hear sounds like avenge. <laughs> well, we are the villains, right? Yeah, you're right. That's right. So, and as you hear, as you're hearing this muttering, you see these three somewhat tiny, somewhat small looking creatures kind of crawl out on all fours from under the, um, from under the bridge and they start to sniff around as if they, they're, they caught the scent of something. And one of them looks directly at you guys. This is what they look like. They're little brown, somewhat spiny creatures with tails. Hello there, little guys. And they kind of. I one haven't of even them, seen them, but I'm I'm friendly to them. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even seen them yet. So they kind of crawl out on all fours, and one of them looks at you guys and cocks its head to the side, and just stares. The other two continue to mutter. And in, and interpose themselves between you and the bridge. I'll uh I'll 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 step up. Well, I don't even speak the language, right? But I'm gonna talk to them anyway. Um, I'm gonna because I, I don't know that I don't speak the language. So um, I'm gonna sort of step up, just you know, one or two steps, and sort of crouch down to put myself uh, you know, uh, at sort of at their level. You know how like mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then I'll just you know, hello, uh, how are you? Okay, so, um, all right, so you're attempting what? A persuasion? Not even, just, just generally saying hello. S trying to be friendly? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, one of them jumps back and kind of does this sort of stitch thing. They sound kind of like Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, so kind of okay. jumps back and does this kind of, ah, Nagakita! And you don't understand anything it's saying. You just, it sounds like gibberish to you, but it seems offended that you've kind of invaded its space. And the other two start jumping up and down and, and yelling gibberish at you. And you, well, and and you guys know you what they're saying. You, and, and you've come close to them, right? I just stepped a little forward in the group. Just, you know, I, like I didn't want to approach in a threatening way, but just, you know, just enough to, you know, to, that I'm communicating. To indicate to them that how close would you say you are uh well so how f uh like wherever the party was i probably just stepped up you know two or three steps really if they were finnish they would feel offended right now <laughs> <laughs>
So, uh, so I'm gonna say that you guys were within within thirty feet of them. <laughs> yep. Right. So, and you said you took a couple of steps forward. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So then you specifically uh, start to feel a little weird and wrong. Okay. Um, well, that, that's nothing new for it within the last ten minutes, so I'm good. Or last, uh, you know. It feels <laughs> it feels similar to a feels similar to a sort of vertigo. Okay. But you're not a hundred percent. You're not a hundred percent sure what that means. You just know that something doesn't feel right, and you don't know what it is. Um, so what do you guys do? They're not. They're not necessarily attacking, but they're definitely not. They're definitely not friendly. Any of you guys oh. know what they were saying? Speaking yeah. of gibberish. <clears throat> what was it saying when it was doing the whole? Like, blah, blah, blah. Well, you don't know. You can't understand it. Well, oh, so it wasn't words? elven. It was just there were words that sounded elven. Yeah, w there were words, words that, that he was picking up. The on. the vague the the elven words that you would hear would be um would be uh, one of them is murder, avenge, blood, pixie. All right, um, I'm gonna roll uh, an history check to see if I know what these things are. Okay, sure. Right, history, or would it be something else? I would accept history or arcana. Oh, I'll do um, arcana because that's <laughs> all better. of my knowledge checks are negative one. I love it. Or even nature. Nature would be fine too. Oh yeah, no. Okay, so yeah, you're not a hundred percent sure on what they are. You, um, I would say you, th you feel it's safe to assume they're fey, but you don't know anything more about them than that. I'll, I'll run my uh. Oh, okay. Uh, not bad. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Well, considering you're from a different continent, the DC would be slightly higher for you, but you even sure. still pass that. So for some reason, you must love reading about Fay. So you uh -huh. in your your in your readings have come across the um have come across the um Creature known as the Spriggan. Uh, hey, you guys, I think I think I've heard of these guys before. I might have read about them. I think they're called Spriggans. And what you know about them is that they are. Uh, what you know about them is that they um, are drawn to the smell of fey blood, and they see it as their job, their sworn duty, to protect all fey. Good or bad, doesn't matter. They don't pick sides. They just put their foot down when a fae is injured, and the smell of fey blood draws them and makes them aggressive toward whatever non fey are in the immediate area. All right, so uh, uh, if I know that much at least, uh, I'll be like, guys, I think, I think they might be mad at us. We might have... Mm -hmm might have killed one of their friends or something mm -hmm. and, like, and I'll explain maybe a little extra about that fate part like that they protect the fate mm -hmm. so yeah so when he says that I look over at nomenclature I'm just kind of like do you want to try crossing the bridge mm. oh um one other thing you're a little confused as to their size you always thought spriggans were much much larger okay yeah so they're small. They're smaller than I expected them to be. By a lot, or by or... a lot. Ah, okay. By like, an immense amount. Like size Good. category. By <laughs> multiple size categories. Oh wow. Okay. So like small. So, yeah, so uh, are they small or tiny? They're small. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll let the guys know. Uh, you know, I think these guys are usually bigger, at least from what I remember. These guys are pretty tiny. I mean, they don't seem to be doing any harm. Yeah, I just, I'll just uh, kind of go over to nomenclature and just be like, well, we are of fey descent, so do you think maybe we should just try to see if we can cross the bridge? Yeah. Uh, that I sounds. Know if you guys feel dizzy. Uh, um, feeling a little dizzy. That makes sense. Yeah, but you're always a little lightheaded. Uh, yeah. It's 
I've been okay. called an airhead before, you know, because I'm a genasi of the air. <laughs> I feel. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so Addison, you're gonna take the lead on this? Yeah, uh, yeah. me and Nomenclature will just start walking forward. Yeah, I mean, I'm mostly friendly with forest creatures. Okay, so these three Spriggans, when you start approaching the bridge, they kind of like skitter out of the way somewhat, but they kind of rush in to like swiftly sniff you each and then move away. Like, so they rush in to, they rush around to sniff Cathixis. Fine, nothing. Rush in to sniff Dergrim, nothing. Rush in to sniff, um, rush in to sniff Nomenclature, nothing. They rush in to sniff Addison, one of the the one that rushes in to sniff Addison flies into a rage and attacks. Oh no! Probably because I literally have fake blood all over, like mm. all over my weapon. Quite literally. Wait, um, aren't you Fey itself? Yeah, but they're enraged by Fey blood. Bro, you fucked up. Yeah, you so so it attacks. So let's see. I cross the bridge and continue the quest. Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that, that's beautiful. I love that. Um, Wait, so, so they, didn't, they weren't mad at me for it. any reason, right? No, 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 it was just me. Okay. Right. <laughs> you shouldn't have wrecked so much ass last time. Someone had to... So you take nine, you, you take nine damage. Oh. Oh, shit. I was doing perfectly fine. You take funny. nine damage. I was damage. trying to help out. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey! Alright, so let's roll some initiatives. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow, really great initiative. Oh, um, mine's a tw mine's a nineteen because I forgot my proficiency bonus went up. All right, so Addison, what did you get? She's level four now. It goes up to level five. Addison, oh, I got a I got a twenty-one. So mine's ah, very good. Uh, Deer Grum? fourteen. Can fix this? Oh, I didn't. 18. Okay. Ozone? 19. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. oh, my God. Nomenclature? 18. Oh, my goodness. Would you consider this thing an animal? Uh, no. Oh. No, but you don't know that. I mean, I, I can look at them. I mean, you can look at them. So what do you think it is? You said it's a spriggan, so it's a small tree creature. I said that, yeah. It's a spriggan, so it's a small creature. Um, do you think, do you want to, if you, do you want to give me uh, a nature or arcana check or history check to see if you know anything more about it? Sure, I can... I can nature it up. But that'll be on. That's an action. We were in hunt. Yeah. Oh. I mean. So that'll be on your turn. I, 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 well, this, it is a hundred percent your turn, Addison. All right. <clears throat> uh, how did this thing attack me? It jumped at you with its claws and slashed you. And when it did that, its buddies started giggling and tittering to themselves and jumping up and down. Titter. They're all very excited about this. Well, they can titter in tatters. We will dub that one Regina George. Ah, so what are we doing to Regina? <laughs> oh, my first attack 
that is a miss. You're for yes, yes, that would be a miss. Not the second one. Definitely not. That is a hit. Oh, wait, wait, actually, hold on a second. Wait, I, I'm sorry, I'm not even paying attention to this thing's ability. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. That second attack is a miss. A twice. Yeah, you, when you swing at it, you feel, so, finally, yeah, so when you swing at it, you feel like your aim should have been true, but something about, something about your muscles seem to have betrayed you, and you somehow miss a shot that you should have absolutely hit. Done fucked up now, Eddie. All right. So that was, is that your whole, that, that's everything? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Ozone, your turn. Okay. Um, just by sizing them up, do the, do, does the uh, peanut gallery uh, seem the same size as the other one that just attacked uh, Axon? Like they, like. Oh, yeah, no, they're all, they're, all three of them are small. Okay. All right. Yeah, they are small inside. Um, so. I'm going to say, like, you know, leave my friend alone. And I'm going to try to... Oops, I'm just deciding which one. Definitely going to cast something. Um, uh, and they're, and they're, they're not together. Yeah, so I will just cast... Um, I'll cast Chaos Bolt. Why not? Okay, roll it for me. All right, so Chaos Bolt. Getting what my uh, attack modifier is, and it is an attack roll. Sure, yes it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, and that wait. was a no, by the way. So you so done messed up. It. Wait for it. Yeah. So so you attempt to hit the one by Addison with that yeah. spell? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so what ends up happening? is the magic the magic you call up gathers in your hand yes. and something seems wrong with the spell and you don't think it's going to hit but for some reason when you unleash this spell it not only hits but it explodes in a conflagration of nice. just random energy it's a critical hit yes <laughs> Well, can we, since it's a uh, chaos bolt, uh, do I at least get to roll a d8 for the uh, type of damage? <laughs> it's a critical hit on the Spriggan. Oh, okay. Oh, that's dope. Okay. It's a critical oh. hit on the Spriggan. So really... pay attention to this, guys. Yeah, so everything's backwards. Yeah. Mm. So then my four missed. I thought it was a 10. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't realize yeah, it was a 4. Yeah, the, first, the first one was a 10, and then the second one was a 22. No, the first one should have hit, so roll damage. Ah, okay. Interesting. So, oh, interesting. I'm actually interesting. Interesting. Yeah. No. Yes, 10. Uh, you did 10 damage? Yeah. Okay. Just rolling damage. I think they so that means that these enemies are made for Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Benny the person. I'm so good. So good at this. Um, just getting to make sure. I... But since he rolled a 1, though, even though he hit, does that mean he gets to roll a wild magic table? It is a leveled spell. If it's a leveled spell, yes, you have to roll on the wild magic table. Okay, cool. So uh, let me just roll the damage because I've still been typing yeah. out the equation. Yeah, here. so roll the damage. All right, so it's it normally says I roll 2d8, and I choose one of those d8, and that's the damage type. So I, I'll just say whatever the first d8 was. Yeah, so you roll four. So instead, you first. roll 4d8. Yeah. 
All right, and plus, and it's one d six damage on top of that, and the the, the new chaos bolt. Is, you know, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! So one of the first two, I'll pick seven. So seven is psychic damage. Okay. Holy crap! Twenty five. Yeah, because it was two d six as well. Because it's normally two d eight plus one d six, and then I choose the damage type, and then no, now it's two d six and. Cool. Um. So yeah, get away from my friends! And I, like explode. Um, friends. <laughs> um, Gosh. So did I roll not the same on both of those? See that this is where it gets a little iffy, and I'll let I'll I'll let you decide there, right? So the whole thing with chaos bolt is. You roll the if, two d eights, and if there's if two same, of the numbers match, then yeah. it, yeah. So you have two other bolts that jump to other, yes, two All other right, enemies. So I make a new attack roll. Let's roll low. So now I have to make sure that this attack actually hits. So it, there's a chance that it'll. it'll here we so the, and these are going to jump and hit the other two spriggans. Yeah. So make a new attack roll against. So at first it's just the one target, right? So it's uh, so it's. 19, I'm assuming that misses, which is a weird thing to say. Uh, yes, that misses. And make it a yeah. Okay, so I don't roll the damage for that. But okay, well, so you know what? No, no, no. It was a critical hit, automatic hit. Oh, cool. Yeah, All right. I, I don't think it's fair otherwise. An automatic hit. It might not be yeah. fair to these guys if I keep rolling 4d6 plus 2d8. Just nice. Don't, <laughs> don't worry, they'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, why'd you have to say it I that way? I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Oh, Just don't take worry. that back. You need the critical hit. Yeah. Uh, all right, so... That got backwards 48. 26. All right, let's see what we got. So, all right, so five. I will say that's lightning damage on the second. And then okay. There's no extra. So that's 22. I'm probably healing them, you guys. No. Uh, and then the other one, you did how much damage? 22 on the second. So you did 5 like... on one and then 22 on the other? That's crazy. No, uh, 25 on the first attack. Okay, and what about the other two? Ooh, no, no, well, it was... So should I... So I'm also rolling damage for the third one? Because normally that it's, it's just the one. Oh, okay, fine. Another double, yeah. Until All I'm right, rolling. no, no, no. All right, no problem. Yeah. So, so 22... Do they grow when I hit them? <laughs> Is that what happens? <laughs> All right. So now it is the first Spriggan's turn. The the Spriggan that uh, was hit by Addison and and I, Ozone. I didn't roll uh, the wild magic. Oh, roll the wild magic, please. Real quick. Sorry. Find out. So I had to roll a one, right? So. All right. Yeah. I thought it's a percentage die for the wild magic. Um. So no, we could do it that way, but the idea is, uh, it's for the level of the spell. Um, I have to beat that DC. So since this was a level one spell, um, it has to be above. Uh, but I mean, percentage. It's in the book. I think it's just a D twenty. Right. So if you roll it, okay. either way, if you roll a one on the D twenty, then that's when the. Right. Okay. So you rolled fine. Right, great. Okay, good. So, so I'm now guessing it's this... the Spriggan rolled also a 19 on their initiative rolls, and they got higher, lower dex than Ozone? Because uh... you got a 19, I got an 18 on initiative. Yeah, and. Yeah, I didn't ask you your dex. I'm fine with Ozone going before it. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't do the dex thing, I just let Ozone go. Um, I, yeah, I didn't really figure that. I just, because yeah. um, I'm using an app to figure out the initiative order, and I'm just entering it, entering the numbers. So it put Ozone before the Sprig, and I'm fine with that. Yeah. So the, um, the first Sprig, uh, that is now, it's close to Addison, closest to Addison, it kind of jumps up and down in, in this almost comical rage, and then it takes in a huge breath and it blows into its thumb. And when it does that, it balloons two size categories larger. Oh, oh. I didn't know you were hitting it, you guys. 
Good job. Uh. <laughs> um, and now it looks like this. Fucking incredible Hulk, but brown. Maybe if we hit it hard enough, it'll. So, um, <laughs> so Addison <laughs> and oh, all of you. Uh, need to roll me a wisdom saving throw when you first see this. Is it to charm? (laughs) No. (laughs) Is it magical? It, sure. Yeah, because he has an advantage on it. Oh man. We are fucked. Oh, how? Oh. Except for the microchip. I'm good. <laughs> Wait, so a 17? Yeah. Uh, no, I got a 20. In opposite land. Right. Yeah. Oh, so boy. you got. So for nomenclature, that's a four. Wait, this is opposite land. Then should I do keep lowest one? Yeah. Because so, so you can keep I the two. Five. Yeah, you can keep the two. Cool. So. so still- oh wait. So does that mean that Ozan and I are okay? <laughs> where's Where's your Where's your saving throw? Because he got an eight and I got a nine. Yeah. Ozan On got- the saving throw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both got an 8, Addison got a 9, Dr. Dare got a 14, and did the fix this roll? No. So, okay, so an 8 is a 13, a 9 is a 12. What, what am I rolling for? A wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, because of this, like, creature that's here. <laughs> oh no, did we cut out again? No, you're fine. Oh, okay. It just got really quiet. And apparently I got a uh, 16, I guess? Or no, 10? I, I, I don't know. Whatever. That's funny. We got 8, 9, 10. And 5. And 5. And, five. and 14. Oh, we lost the DM. Hello. Oh, so hey guys, sorry. Oh, so, so it wasn't us. Okay, cool. No, it was me. Uh, my boss called me. Sorry about that. Um, Tell that asshole. All right. Sorry. So uh, who? So who got the eight? That's ozone. Ozone. Oh, I did. Oh yeah, yeah. So ozone, you pass. Who got the nine? Addison. Addison, you fail. Oh. Who, what was the other thing? I got a five. A five? Okay, you pass. And I guess I got a seven without my modifier. Well, you got a ten total. I, I don't know how. So the you works. you you pass. You pass. So Addison, you you failed. So wow. you. So I got a nine and I failed. Someone who had an eight and a ten both succeeded. Nine? No, ten is eleven. Eleven is a failure. Oh, okay. Who got the ten? Fix it. Yeah. No, no, we're going by the raw rolls. What were your raw rolls? Oh. Ah. Uh, so I got a six, uh, seven raw. So Same. you pass. I, I also got, got a seven. So a seven raw is passing. What else? Go on. Um, Addison got a six. You pass. Okay. Daregram got a nine. You fail. Um, nomenclature got a two. Pass. And Cathixis got a seven. He passes. So everybody except Dr. Pass. Dare. Okay, so uh, so Daregrum, you are frightened, terrified of this thing before you. And he's not here because he's eating something, isn't he? I think he's He going. said, oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> a chorus of Daregrum. What happened? Huh? I thought someone said my name. 
Oh no, no I said, oh dear, because I was doing Deirdre's voice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Deirdre, he is frightened. So that will come into play later. Uh, the other two, the other two Spriggans start cheering and jumping around. They're very happy with what just happened. Nomenclature, it's now your turn. By Aislinn's holy light, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so special guest voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with uh, a knowledge roll. Okay, what are you trying to what what inform? Well, it's not an investigation, so roll, and I'll tell you. I'll let you know what you know. I'll let you know what you know. What you All know. right, so I have a plus three for intelligence. Don't add my proficiency, but I do add expertise. <laughs> Well, you you can do a you can do either an arcana, a history, or a nature. Uh, I'm not proficient in any of those. I'm a performer. That's okay. All. Yeah, but you add half your proficiency bonus. So round it down. Cool. So I got a fifteen. Okay. Are ability checks backwards too, or is it just things pertaining to these creatures? Just to those things. I mean, that's eleven that's and ten are now. interchangeable. So instead of a fifteen, you got a fourteen. So it's kind of it's pretty much a wash anyway. So, um, so what you know? What information are you looking for? What are you trying to figure out? What are you trying? What are you plumbing your mind for? I can speak to small forest mm -hmm. creatures. Forest beast. Okay. So forest beast? To... Okay, so no, this is a fae. You know this is fae. Yeah. So it would so it would not be a beast. Okay. Yeah. You have a feeling that that ability would not work with these things. Alright. Um I'm gonna take a couple steps back. Okay. Cathixis, you're up. Okay. Well, unless you wanted to use a bonus action, you have you have a bonus action you could use. It's up to you, nomenclature. I don't think he has anything to use. Either. Yeah, I would just be able to inspire somebody, but <laughs> but why do that? Okay, no problem. <laughs> Not worried about that right now. Okay, so Cathixis, up, you're up. So two of them are Hulk sized. One of them is. Well, no, one is hulk size, two are our, our, our babies. Do any of them look hurt? Um, the one that turned hulk size looked like it was in a fair amount of pain. Nothing to nothing to cry to mommy about, but you know, it's it's hurting. Okay. In that case would you be so kind as to... Oh, <laughs> never mind. It, it doesn't get a save on this. I'm going to put a Wisdom Hex on that one. That's hurt. Okay. And mm. then... And then what does that do for it? It gives a disadvantage on Wisdom Saving Throws? Correct. Okay. And also takes additional damage. Okay, cool. Is that everything, or is there more? Uh, well, that's it. As my main action, I will be... Give me a wisdom saving throw on it. Pretty please. <laughs> oh, really? That low a DC? Fuck me. Oh, is this your racial ability? I'm I'm whispering to it. I I'm doing what our D and D campaign is called. Oh, you're just whispering. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, right. Your your uh, it, it passes eleven. Okay, so I'm keeping the lowest one, right? Yeah. Okay, so I fail. Sweet. In that case, now here within its mind. Also takes this many psychic damage and th 
this many. Necrotic? Was it? I believe so. The yes. Wow. That is <laughs> disappointing as fuck. Six? No problem. Six necrotic. That is uh -huh. the most disappointing uh -huh. piece of shit I have ever seen in my entire so life. Also, it now is um frightened, right? Afraid of me. It must do everything within its power to get the fuck away from me. Dissonant whispers, you said? Yep. Oh, he put the title of the show on. <laughs> the nope. titular spell. That's it. Where we got our name from. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, cool. Okay, so it has to move its reaction if available to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Okay, no problem. So, so it backs away 25 feet. So do I get an attack of opportunity then? Um, yes. Yeah, I think it works in this case because it is choosing technically to move away. It's not being forced with uh, an effect. Yeah, because it's, it's pushed. It's, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it's not being pushed back. It's being made afraid and then it is actively because yeah, so I'll say yes. Oh, I miss. I got a, a 14. I rolled a 15. That's so it. fucked up. That sucks so bad. Like, you look at that number and you're like so happy to see it. Like, oh. Alright, so. Okay, good. So, there's that. So now it is, I believe, Deergrim's turn. Alright. Yeah. Uh, so, so Deergrim, you're frightened. So that means I just have to move away from them. You don't have to move away, you just can't willingly come closer to it. Yeah. And you have, I believe you have disadvantage on attacks toward that particular one. Yeah, just so that you, one. Yeah, yes. you get into the big one because that's the one that scared you, but you could do stuff to the other two smaller ones, like heal or whatever. Okay, so I guess I'll just go up to the smaller ones oh, and no. smack- A frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within its line of sight. Damn. Um, and you can't move up to those creatures because you'd be moving towards the source of your fear. Right. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm just going to cast Spiritual Weapon as my bonus action. Okay. Sword is out. It said I can't willingly attack. Can the sword willingly attack? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so I'm sending the the big one out. I'm sending the sword to the big one. Mm -hmm. Those who can't do teach, right? Or those who can't do summon a sword. And it's not that you can't willingly attack. You can't willingly move closer. You can attack it. You just can't willingly move closer to it. But his sword is under no own. Uh, congratulations. We're rolling mad high now. <laughs> yeah, that misses, right? Yep. Okay, so then as my uh, regular action, I will be doing Guiding Bolt. Okay, cool. Let me just look that up one sec. <laughs> All right, four d six. Radiant damage. Does an that eight is hit? A hit? That is a hit. Oh man, good roll. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is actually kind of fun. So he takes 12 damage and... So which one are you attacking with the, the 12 damage? The, the big one. The the big one. Yeah. Okay. Also, the next attack roll made against this creature, if, uh, against this target before the end of my next turn has advantage. So the next okay. person who attacks it has advantage. All right, cool. All right, so that brings us to 
the uh, that brings us to the second spring in that one is going to run up to Addison and it is going to attempt to attack that is a miss one more that is also a miss. So it swung twice at you, Addison, and just very frustrated starts gibbering to itself and jumping up and down and bashing itself in the head because it missed. It's very upset. And now the second one is going to come up to you as well. And it's going to What's your AC? 17. That's a mess. Nice AC. Mm-hmm. Because of that magical uh, armor. It would be a also shame missed. if somebody lowered it. So, these two Spriggans are seriously frustrated because no matter what they can do to you, they, they can't hit. And they're just jumping up and down and so frustrated with this. So, uh, so now it is your turn, Addison. How close is everyone else to me? No one is within like melee range. Like how? No, no one moved within melee range. Everyone casted spells, mm -hmm. so you're the only one within melee range of these things. Okay, well, how close is everyone to me? Uh, within within thirty feet, but I would say, uh, since you took the lead, uh, they could be up to twenty feet away from you. Okay, perfect. I want um, both of those things to give me a constitution saving throw. Constitution? Okay. Okay, that is a 19. So, it, it, I, we're not suffering from backwards land bullshit, right? What? No, that's with the backwards land bullshit, that's what it ends up being. Okay. And then that was a, a nine. So one failed and one, I would assume one failed and one passed. Yeah, give me just a second to look at this. Trying to figure. Okay. So one... One pass and one fail. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm casting Thunder Wave as a second level spell. Mm -hmm. um, so the one that fails gets pushed back uh, 10 feet. Okay. And then I'm going to roll for the damage. Is this a saber suck? No, it's uh, half damage. Okay. So 16 to the one, and then the other one takes half. So eight. Okay, so eight and 16? Yeah. And then with my bonus action, I'll slash at the other one. Ugh. What was that? It was a 23, a 17. Okay. All right, so that's a miss. So now it is Ozone's turn. You guys, I think they got as big as I remember. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, I mean, you gotta make it, make it count, make it real. Um, I am going to. It's fireball time. Screw it. It's fine. No more digging around. I kill this thing. All right, fireball, um, attack time. Oh, I got a six uh, unmodified and then a ten modified. Cool. So six unmodified, mm -hmm. uh, 15 plus four. So that's a hit. Awesome. All right, so it's. So now which one are you hitting? Are you hitting the one that you've done the most at, the big one? 
Well, yeah, the, the, the big one, right? Um, okay. That's the one that's most, uh, the first person. You have an advantage on that attack. I do? Well, I think I'm happy with what's... <laughs> with I mean, you can see if you, really you can see if you roll a critical miss again. I mean, is that... Is Take it, advantage of the suckage. <laughs> all right, but what if I roll high? Does that I don't I don't know which one. No, no, you can't. You can't. Yeah, don't worry about it. Go ahead. It's an advantage. You get the better roll. Yeah, you get the better roll. Hey, look at that! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I've never have I been so proud. You are fucking welcome, high. Benny. <laughs> Thank you. I am so done. <laughs> That's great. Oh lordy. Um, all right, so that was that's just one d10, so it makes it two d10, right? Right. Um, <laughs> wow. Oh, that's good. That's you good. Think for Benny. Oh crap! I only rolled six, but all right. If it if it is flammable, it catches fire. <laughs> all right. So, um, is that? Oh, that's not a level spell. That's a cantrip, correct? That is a cantrip. Yeah. Okay. And that's my uh, so, main action. I don't have any uh, bonus that uh, I wish to use. Uh, and that's it, yeah. So this thing that just um, that just grew to enormous size, it's now this thing's chance to go. Peter. Yeah? Hold on. Uh, Ralph is ending the episode. Okay. Boop, boop. See you next time. <laughs>